In this video, I'm going to solve uh, part C of uh, this pulley problem. So in, in part one, I, I found if the system was in static equilibrium and also determined the tension in the string. And so now I'm going to uh, calculate the acceleration of the system if 20 kilograms is added to mass 2. Um, so if, if 20 kilograms is added, so the new mass is going to be, uh, so the original mass was, was 12, so 12 kilograms, so plus 20 kilograms, um, so that's going to give us 32 kilograms. Okay, so this block, uh, block 2, is now going to weigh 32 kilograms. And so to, de to determine the acceleration of the system, I'm going to first write um, F net statements for each block. So starting with, with the first block, um, so once again I'm going to draw the forces that are acting on it. So FT, so tension force, normal force, FG1, and FF. And in this case, um, I'm going to assume that it will accelerate because otherwise the question wouldn't be asking calculate the acceleration unless um, unless they're really trying to trick trick you to um, yeah unless they're trying to trick you and there actually isn't an acceleration but it's it's easy to determine if there will be one um, so so this is going to be uh, kinetic force of friction and so on this block we have FG2 and tension FT so same tension as in this part of the rope so for for block 1 for block 1 Uh, this is the F net statement that we're going to have. Um, so remember that F net is equal to mass times acceleration. <laughs> so in this case, the mass that we have is M1. So M1 multiplied by the acceleration that we don't know is going to equal ft so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this direction positive and i'm going to make down positive okay so that's going to be my sign convention for this question so so in this case then ft is going to be positive so we're going to have ft minus ffk so the kinetic friction is in the opposite direction, so it's going to have a negative sign. So that's for block 1. That's our F net statement for block 1. For block 2, what we're going to have is M2 times the acceleration. So both blocks, because they're connected, should have the same acceleration. Um, and then here, because I'm treating down as being positive, I'm going to have FG2 minus FT. Okay. And so now, now I'm going to put in um, the values. So mass 1 is... Um, 45, so 45 A equals 
Um, so FT, we don't know the value of that. So FFK, so to find FFK, it's the coefficient of kinetic friction multiplied by the normal force. But in this case, the normal force is equal to the force of gravity on the block because the block is on a flat surface. Um, and so I'm just going to write M one G. And so that's going to be, so the coefficient of kinetic friction is, um, 0 0.35 times 45 times 9.8 and that gives us 154.4 newtons um, so FT minus 154.4 um, and now for for block two, we're gonna have thirty two times a. Now you don't actually need to put the vector symbol on a. Um, I'm just I'm just doing it just to show that it's it is a vector. Uh, but you could just write an a instead without the vector symbol. Um, and so that's going to equal fg two. So fg two from the previous video, uh, we found it uh, to be a hundred and, or actually no, in this case we have to find it now again because because it's going to change. Um, so, so I'm just going to erase this. So it's going to be, so let's find the new FG2. So FG2 is going to equal M2 times G. So M2 is now going to be 32, so 32 times 9.8, so that's that's going to equal 313.6 newtons. Okay, so FG2 is 313.6 minus FT. And now what we have is we have a system of equations. So we have two unknowns and two equations. So what I can do is I can eliminate uh, FT. So if I add these two equations, since here I have a positive FT and here it's negative FT, if I add them, I'm going to cancel the FT. And so that's what I'm going to do. So, so adding these, Together, I'm going to get 77A equals, so that's going to be 313.6 minus 154.4. So that's going to be 77A equals 159.4. Two five, and um, yeah. So so now the last step is I'm going to divide both sides by seventy seven, and that's going to give me a value of approximately two point one meters per second squared. Okay, so that's going to be the value for the acceleration. So 2.1 meters per second squared, approximately. Okay, so it needs to make sure that uh, the value is to two significant digits because all the answer, all the values in the question are to two significant digits. Okay, so hopefully this um, this video was helpful. Um, so if you liked it, please give it a like. Um, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.